Hey everybody, JC here with another TNI toy review. And today's review is in association with MarvelousNews.com, your number one news source for everything Marvel. And for today's review, I'm going to be taking a look at the brand new Marvel Legends 6 inch Black Panther movie, Black Panther figure from Hasbro. Now this figure comes packaged in the same style we've been seeing with all the Marvel Legends. Up at the top you've got the Marvel Legends series logo. The figure is clearly displayed in the window box. Down below you've got the Black Panther movie logo and the name of the character. On the very top of the packaging you have that Black Panther symbol. And then on the sides of the packaging you just have an image or some artwork for Black Panther. And then on the back of the packaging you have an image of the figure, a brief bio in multiple languages. And then down below, a look at all the figures in the wave that you need to get in order to complete the, the build a figure. All right, let's get this open and take a look at what's inside. Okay, so here's a look at the figure outside the packaging along with the other contents. First of all, we get the head sculpt for the build a figure for this wave. And we'll be taking a look at that build a figure in its own review after we've looked at the other figures in the wave. So be sure to check back for that. The figure comes with two pairs of hands. So you get a pair of closed fisted hands and then a pair of open hands with the claws out. And you've got the metallic silver on the tips of the claws with which look pretty good and you even have a little bit of sculpting detail on the inside palms of the hands and on the outside portions of the hands as well. And switching out the hands is easy. You just pop off the hand you want to replace and then you pop on the hand you want to replace it with and you got the peg on the hand and the hole in the arm and you just pop it in and it should fit nice and tight. And then finally you get two different head sculpts with this figure. You get the masked head and the unmasked head. So with the masked head I like the detailing. You've got the silver outline and the white eyes and you've got some sculpting detail on the top of the mask which is nice and then of course he's got the panther type ears and looks very similar to the Civil War Black Panther movie figure, a little bit different. This, uh, this new movie figure has got a wider head, it was a more sleek head looking with the Civil War version and the pattern's a little bit different and everything, but overall they're very similar looking in actual design. The big difference looks like you've got the sculpting, extra sculpting detail on the top of the head with this one. And then with the unmasked head, I think this is definitely an improvement over the one that we got with the Civil War Black Panther figure. That one really looked nothing like the actor. So this one definitely is an improvement over that. I, don't, I won't say it's 100% to the actor's likeness. And we've seen other movie figures that have a little better head sculpts as compared to their actor counterparts. But again, this one is definitely an improvement over that Civil War version. Switching out the heads is easy. You just pop off the head you want to replace. And it's attached with a ball hinge joint. So when you're trying to pop on the alternate head, that hinge joint might move around a little bit on you but you should be able to get it on there fairly easy and once you do it should pop on there nice and tight. Now I do have to say that it looks a little funny when you have the unmasked head on the figure mainly because the beard kind of ends up blending in with the costume itself so it almost looks like part of the costume is coming up on his face. Again, it's really just because the beard that they've given him is almost the same color as the actual costume of the figure. For the figure itself, I think they've done a pretty good job. You've got the metallic silver with this necklace. Now this is a little bit different necklace than what he was wearing in Civil War. And I kind of like this one better. And then he's got more metallic silver throughout the costume than on the Civil War version, like here around the arms and, and the wrists and everything. And then at the midsection, actually that's pretty much the same between the two figures. But then also on the boots and stuff, you've got a little more metallic silver. And then you've got the same kind of line work that you see on the Civil War version, though it is a different pattern. It's not the exact same pattern. So I do like that detailing. And it's just a basic black color. Um, really the entire figure other than the metallic silver and the white on the eyes is just that basic black color. But overall I think the figure looks pretty good and pretty true to how he appears in the movie. Another big difference I want to point out between the Civil War version and this version is with the feet and specifically how you can see kind of like the claws on the toes with the feet on this one as opposed to on the original Civil War version it was more rounded with that indentation in the middle. So I kind of like the look of the feet on this uh, new version over the Civil War version. So this figure stands just a little over six and a quarter inches tall. And here's a comparison with the Civil War Black Panther figure and height wise these two are about the same but you can see this new version, this Black Panther movie version is a little more sleeker looking than the Civil War version. Okay, so for articulation, I think it's definitely improved over the Civil War version. So you can turn the head to the left and to the right, and he can look down really good. 
and he can look up really good as well, which is nice, which you couldn't do with the previous version. Now you really can't pivot the head much to the left, the right, but again, you have much better up and down movement with the head on this one than you did the Civil War version. Shoulders are tapped with your standard ball hinge joint so you can get the arm out good, and you've got good rotation, and then you have butterfly joints so you get some back and forth movement. And the thing I like here over the Civil War version is on the Civil War version, you really couldn't get the arms down flat on the side. That's about as much as you could. Whereas on this one, much more flat on the side of the figure. So I like that. And then you've got a bicep swivel. You've got a double jointed elbow. So good bending at the elbow. You've got rotation at the wrist and hinges on the hands. So up and down movement with the hands. He has an ab crunch joint so he can crunch down pretty good. And then he can look back pretty good as well. He has a waist swivel so he has rotation there at the waist. Legs are attached with ball joints so he can only do the splits about that much. And then you can get the leg forward pretty good and you can do the leg back pretty good as well. He has a thigh swivel. He has a double jointed knee, so good bending there at the knee. And then with his feet, you have up and down movement and you do have ankle pivot, of course, and two peg holes on the bottom of the feet. Okay, so that's my review. So overall, I like this figure and I definitely think it's an improvement over the Civil War version of Black Panther. Not that that was a bad figure, but I like the articulation better on this one. I think it's a sleeker looking figure and I also like the alternate unmasked head better than the one we got with the Civil War version. Now this figure is available now. We'll have a full image gallery up at MarvelousNews.com. There'll be a link in the video description below. As always, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. If you're so inclined, please like the video. Also, please hit that subscribe button down below. I'd really appreciate it. You can also follow me on my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts. I have links to those in the video description as well. And until next time, guys, I'll catch you later.